everybody to this anime game Otaku 95. Last episode we were still traveling around the planet Rena and after finding so many monsters we end up being in the room where there was a lot of bodies and some glass container thing and I'm guessing those were the things that were taken from planet Dana and they were transformed into winners. And now I'm about to go walk across the room and how much you wanna bet there's gonna be a North boss fight. So what's gonna happen next? Let's go play. No Sugoi. Let's kill it. Ah, oh, looks creepy. What is that thing? Something we have to fight if we want to get across, it seems. Be careful. It's huge. Yeah, and let's destroy the orange part of it so we can win quicker. No ordinary suit. That much is damn sure. Watch yourselves. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open in that case, let's start with the one in the middle. Yeah, that's why I said audio. So let's go let's go to show you orange part of it. Uh-oh. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ah Oh no. She is dying. Better give her some health. Shion. Okay. 
Oh, move. Oh, no. He's going to use the ultimate attack. So I got to be careful. Almost there, almost there. Okay, I better go help my friends. So let's see. A retreat. Ah oh, man, Dolphin got knocked out. was that thing probably something that was made here and somehow managed to survive even after all this time not that there's any way of knowing now <sighs> what's wrong oh i just suddenly found myself contemplating what might have happened to the sovereigns that were meant to emerge from the crown contests what do you mean you see the winners of the past crown contests were all strong astral arts practitioners furthermore that enemy we just fought appeared to be composed of several human bodies. It was certainly nothing one would find in nature. You're saying those were the remains of the winners? That they forgot who they once were? I'm merely saying it's a possibility. That's absolutely gruesome. How long had the Helganquil been at this? More than 300 years? spirit that made them do all of this. Anything to get its astral energy. We're not gonna jump down, right? I certainly hope not. After hearing Donalim's suggestion, I'm honestly not sure what to say. I assure you all, I was merely stating the possibility. <laughs> so, looks like the Helganquil have been engineering Zoogles too. Why doesn't that surprise me at this point? Maybe you got used the to it? The creatures we've been encountering here have been a little different to what we're used to fighting. But I'm pretty sure they're Zoogles too. Do you think they were engineered using creatures native to the area? Indeed. 
However, based on the current circumstances, I would guess these Zoogles are all that's left of the planet's fauna now. You mean... there might have been native owl species here once upon a time, too? Well, anyway, let's just keep continuing moving forward. Don't let this distract us from completing our mission and... Wait, is there any treasure? Nope. Not there. Ah, there it is. Okay, there's no teleporter. Let's go. We're back in that other room? Did the teleporter fail or something? Something feels off about it. Look! Everything's upside down! The furnishings are at least. No, you're right. The whole room's flipped on its head. So what was once down is now up, and vice versa. I suppose the teleporter reversed our orientation then. Yeah, the white it is upside down. Whoa. I could have been dizzy by now. What's this? Okay, the teleporter to the entrance is now active. Wait, does this mean I could fast travel? Let me see. Oh! Yes, I could! I totally forgot to check the map early on and... Well, there's some brand new side mission available, so... But if I move on to this, I'm gonna go check on the side mission because maybe I could level up a little higher by completing them, so... I'll be right back. Ooh, there's an old cutscene. <sighs> I never realized before just how hot this place is. It's like being inside a fire. You're only just noticing? Ah, yes, forgive me. The whole lack of sensory feedback situation. That's the one. It's hard to believe I once worked in this soup, let alone helped spearhead a revolution. And all with the mask concealing your face. It must have been very grimy beneath that. Back then, we had our plates full enough dealing with constant abuse from our Renan overlords. It never occurred to me the air itself was oppressive in its own way. My head spinning just with the effort it takes to walk. Uh, I think that's called heat stroke. You might want to take a sip of water. Oh, plenty of water. water it's been festering under the sun for days. I wouldn't chance it without boiling it first. Oh, I know. I'll go to the dock and fetch us some clean water. Water alone won't suffice. He'll need to ensure his sodium levels are replenished as well. In that case, let's see if we can rustle up some rock salt. Alfin, you go cool off in the shade for a while. Xion, stay and keep an eye on him. And then there were two. <laughs> Bit of an overreaction. But it's still kind of them. Maybe it's not the time, but this place brings back memories. I know what you mean. We're back where it all started. You don't ever regret meeting me sometimes, do you? Are you kidding? You started all of this, bringing down the wall, retrieving my sense of self. I have no regrets. <sighs> <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Welcome back, Law. Okay, so what kind of side mission that Doc needs? I haven't seen him in a long while. <laughs> oh, hi, Alfin. Hey. Hey, Cor. What's up? You don't look too hot, kid. Mm. I'm really hungry. <clears throat> Even when the rain are gone, there's still not enough food to go around. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Is there no way to bring some from outside Calia? Yes. We have been. Thanks to your hard work, we managed to establish trade routes and have little food coming in. But the other places are well not 
off. It was so there was so many so much we can book or between realms. Hmm. Ever since this realm is nothing but rocks and sand for most of the part. Just great. That's sad. I wish something more could be done. There's still hope. I heard there's a merchant from Cecilia who is visiting the Cavill Castle. Uh, how's this? Would you mind talking to him for us? Got it. Sure. We'll see what he has to say. Hey. In the meantime, here, have this bread. Where'd you get it? She don't always comes prepared like that. Alright. Anyway, let's make our way to Cavamere Castle. Okay, someone has an outside mission. Let me see. Yeah. Hey, seems you folks are staying pretty busy. Oh. Hey. You could say that. You seem to be in high spirit yourself, Ganon. <laughs> I think I like to say I'm good at staying positive, nothing else. After all, with everyone so scared right now, it's important for us guys like us to stand tall and keep hope alive, you know? You say it. Said it. Hmm. What's going on you all down in the dumps? Uh -huh. Me? I'm fine, I guess. Well, you don't sound like that to me. If several saw you like that, he's been none to please. Hmm. You know, cut him some slack. Oh, what did I say? <sighs> oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Anyway, I just remember what Navo said he has a favor to ask you guys. Hmm? He does? What is it? You should talk to him yourself. Tell him I send you. See you later. Just uh, he went off in a hurry. That's double as several. I mean, your dad still waiting on your mind, huh? I guess. I have known every Crimson Crows ever since I was in diapers, so I know better than anyone just how they refer him. It's not like anyone's pointing the finger at me, but it's hard to imagine that they don't hate me somehow. Do you want to wait here while we talk to your neighbor? Thanks. No, I'll come along. Not waiting around is gonna make me. It's going to make me feel any better. Okay, there's another side mission. Mixed feelings. And he's nearby, so let's talk to him. Oh, hey you guys, what can I do for you? Well... We're going to ask you the exact same thing. Gamora sent us to talk with you. Said you have a favor to ask. <sighs> favor? What favor? Oh, I know! Hmm? You know the egg to our races? There's a secret there I want you to take care of. For now, we managed to contain it and block off the walls, but who knows when it'll break loose and cause trouble again. Alright. Sense. I'm guessing you want us to go in there and make sure that it never happens? Hmm. More or less, yeah. But I'm not asking you to do it. I want Law to take care of it instead. Huh? Me? Really? You got a problem with that? Uh -huh. No, it's not that, but... All right. Good. Then get to work as soon as possible. If you need to break the barrier to get it done, that's fine too. That's all for me. Don't let me down, you hear? I guess. What's with these guys? First Gena saw it acting real, now Naven. <sighs> it's me. This is because I got my dad killed. Law. <sighs> no, it's fine. It's the least I could do after I put these guys through. I'll be back. Got it. Nobody said we couldn't help you. We'll come too. Aw, oh, man. I better hope this is... I could still use the other fires with... If I have to use law for this fight, then I'm gonna have a hard time killing that Seagit. Okay. Is this the barrier that's keeping the Zoogle in that Nath mentioned? Yep. Looks like it. Our Zoogle pal should be on the other side. This barrier is weird. It looks old and half-finished. Plus, he said it was okay to break. 
I mean, we won't need it anymore once the Zoogle's gone, right? So what does it matter? Yeah, let's go kill that Zoogle, so... Tail down this wall! Boom! Did they really think that barrier was enough for a Zoogle like that? It was. That thing was sturdier than you give it credit for. Really? So that's the Zoogle, huh? This should be a piece of cake. Don't get careless, Law. Yeah. I can't believe that uh, Zoogle didn't climb the other side of this canyon thing or... What's that maybe... huge Zoogle over there? Stay far away from that thing, Rinwell. Yeah, we're going out to kill it and it's level 53, so... No need to worry. This... Don't tell me. I can carve through armor. Hurricane, that that gel hide is something tasty. It's hiding an oyster. Make it, make it, make it. Uh oh. Ready to go. An astro arc? That's my cue. Shut him down. Uh oh, uh oh, no! Oh no, he knows. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna go help everybody. I still got one. Every tree left. Destroy the orange thing, but it's still attacking. Oh. Oh yeah, orange thing is back on, so better break it. Let's get out of this! 
Okay, halfway done. Now I just gotta remember that they have some several tricks on his sleeve, so gotta be careful. Ah! No side. And I died. And Sion's dead too. Uh oh. Okay, looks like I need to. Let me see. And let me go help Dovely. You need to be healed. How the mighty have fallen. Okay, I'm gonna go get she on the life bottle, so Oh mo 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 Okay, I better go give myself some more CP. Do I have enough? Ah! And I died again. Okay, I broke it, so go beat him up, beat him up more. Uh oh, wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay, hold on. Let's see, let's see. What should I do? What should I do? No way. Yeah, maybe I should give Shion some health. Save myself then? Stay away from my Leave the chargers to me. Okay, I'm gonna go add my CP again. And she owns out. Let's see, I better go help Dovalin. Oh, move, move, move. 
Oh, wolf side, wolf side. Few more hits. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there, almost there. And I won. That was a tough fight, but I still managed to pull it through. Huh? What's a letter doing in a place like this? How if I know? I highly doubt that Zugal was trying to guard it. Still, somebody must have left it for some... A letter? Where's that come from? <sighs> Law. Huh? What's up? <gasps> Something up? from my old man what my dear son I wonder how things will be between us by the time you read this in any case I first want to congratulate oh, I lost you on his puberty already. making it this far requires a strong body fine technique an unwavering spirit and most of all friends that you can count on If you have all of that, then I, as your father, have nothing to worry about. Those things together will always keep you on the right path. That brings me to what I really wish to discuss with you. As with all of us, there will someday come a time when you'll be a grown man who can and must think and act for himself. Whether you'll live in a world where blood will no longer be spilled between Danins and Renans, when that day arrives, nobody can say. But even if peace still eludes us then, you'll have to decide how to live in this world. Listen to others with an open heart, but don't be swept away by their words. Always live on your terms. One more thing. If I ever see you again, I hope to say this to you in person. But neither of us knows what tomorrow may bring. Know this. Whatever you think of me and what I've done, your mother and I love you very, very much. 
And there's nothing in this whole world that will ever, ever change that. Your father, Zephyr. Zephyr. I... I can't believe he's only telling me all this after he's gone. What am I supposed to do with this? Um, you could keep the lead on? Zephyr once told me that living freely meant being your own master. I think he wanted to make sure you know how he felt one way or another. What you do with that knowledge is up to you. But that still doesn't explain why his father left that letter for him here, of all places. Don't forget, we were led to this place. We may well get some answers if we go back to the source of all this. Okay, we defeat the Sugo and we found the letter. <laughs> From the looks of it, I take you guys found the letter. Hey. We sure did. Did you guys put it there? Nope, Sephiroth did. As soon as Law went away. He left it there just in case if something ends up happening to him and he won't get to see Law again. The way him and Law were reunited, he never saw that one coming. Uh, I. Hey. Hey, chill up, kid. You still don't know we blame you for what happened to him, do you? Look, I won't lie to you. It really hurts losing a man like Sephiroth. He was like he was a far to us all, you know. But when you're in the business of finding the weapons like we are. You always prepare to lose friends and more along the way. <laughs> Knowing Sephor, I'm guessing he didn't write you a very long riddle, am I right? You know, when your parents met, your mom was a resistant fighter too. Did you know that? I guess. I figured it out. The reason why she pulled out the front line was because she had you. <sighs> She would stay behind and protect you while your dad would fight twice as hard for a two of you. That was the deal anyway. The only one time your old man broke it and that was when he went to go find a medicine to go kill your mom's illness. <laughs> Nevertheless, he didn't get it to her before she died. That was the only time I know in all those years when he acted for selfish reasons. No way. I have no idea. He never told me about that. But it goes to show he never forgot, forgot about you or your mom the, that whole time. He still loved you both deeply. Damn. Yeah, and I just took that and threw it all away, I guess. So what's your plan? Now that you know how your father really felt about you. Uh, I don't... I don't know. I'll have to think about it. <sighs> but one thing is for sure, I'm going to grow up to be a man that both of my parents could be proud of. All right. Good answer. In that case, I got something else to give you. This is... That's the way Sephiroth was holding on to it, isn't it? That That's my mom's. <laughs> it's yours, kid. You're ready. <laughs> don't waste this life your parents fought so hard to give you. Thanks. Yeah, I won't. Thanks, you two. Okay, I got Sephiroth's wing, so... And I completed the side mission. Nice. Ooh, and I unlock a new title. Okay, it's been a long while, so I better go upgrade people. Let me see. Okay, I guess you need to upgrade a little more. Let's see. Okay, and I need to upgrade Alfin.
Okay, there's another cutscene. You okay, Law? You seem kind of quiet. I'm fine. Just feels a little weird returning home now that my dad's not here, I guess. Huh. Oh, oh, oh man, sorry. I didn't mean to bum you out, too. Hmm. So I guess that means you'll be visiting your dad's grave while you're here. Right, Law? His grave? What are you, nuts? There is no grave. The Rena would only destroy it the moment they found it. Back before Calaglia was liberated, dead slaves would be dumped in mass burial sites. Either that or thrown on top of a bonfire. We got used to cremating our own to deny them the pleasure. Then we'd sprinkle the ashes from high up as a way of returning them to the motherland. That's all we could do. That's the ceremony we had when my mom died, too. But that was back then, right? Calagli is liberated now. There's nothing to stop you from raising a true grave anymore. I suppose you've got a point. Once you've been doing something for generations, though, it sort of begins to take root. It's a tradition of its own now. My dad wouldn't want that anyway. Cheap and simple, he'd say. Besides, I can't treat him differently than my mom. They might not end up meeting on the other side. I hadn't thought of it like that. Wow, imagine. The two of them reunited. Back home where they belong. They're probably watching over us right now. At one with great Dana. <laughs> There's something almost poetic about it. That's why I can't afford to screw up. If I know my pops, something as paltry as death won't stop him from coming to box my ears. Still, better than being left alone, I guess. Better than never knowing. You hear that, Dad? I'll make you proud. You'll see. The merchant that I need to talk to, and wait, he looks familiar. Hmm. Ah. Huh. Hey. Well, if it isn't our old footy friend, this time you ain't call it, uh huh? <laughs> Alfred, finally, I've been waiting for you to show up. Hey. So you'll talk to him, but not me. Great. Yes. That's because I told you your play is no good. What's up, girl? Found no recipe? Quite the opposite, actually. I can't find anything here. Hmm. There isn't any. There ain't any fine delicacy in Carlet Cartier. Right. Now that you mention it, I can't think of anything like that either. Hmm. I want to take something with me, but at this rate, I don't know what, to, what I'm gonna do. Sure. If you find, if you can't find any, why not fix something yourself instead? Hmm? What? There's still some to eat in this pot. Just whip up something good, which what you got, you can find yourself. <laughs> That's the kind of cooking is about, isn't it? I would have figured you all oh, people would have know that. I don't believe oh, you got a gust thingy you can rescue me about the full young lady. But you're actually right. Not only am I a fine connoisseur on the food, I'm also a chef per excellence. Ah! Watch and learn as I put all my years of food experience to good use to produce the finest dish this land has ever seen. I'm not sure you mean anything else but by himself. Okay. Oh yeah, if you're so confident, I'll definitely like to take some home with me. Great. Let me help. This goes on car uh, so it feels personal to me. Gladly, in that case, would you gather some ingredients for me? Say some weeds and eggs. Oh, okay, that was easy. Good. Actually, got what you need already. Nice work. Great! Now I can get to work. Ah! With these ingredients, all my knowledge, insight, the sword to turn out extrusively. So, we're gonna make an egg sandwich. <laughs> all done! But this is... What is this? Some kind of fried bread? Let's give it a taste. Wow. Whoa, this is so good. You sure put those ingredients to good use. Hmm. I'll give him credit though, but 
doesn't the inside still taste a little dog doggy to you? Hmm. Plus, there's nothing special about it. It's just plain old fried bread. Huh. Even with my skills, it looks like I have more work to do. Hmm. The bread still that's still doggy. Wait, I got it. Oh, so he's gonna cook again. How about these? Are those supposed to be wings? Yes. Yep, I was inspired by a castle archetype. I call them Gay Meals Donuts. Okay, I'll try one. Oh. Oh, now this is good. I can't get enough of this crispy te texture. Amazing. Yeah, it tastes great. I'm in heaven. I have no idea you can make any like this in Kaglia. <laughs> I like it. It got a unique look too. I can work with this. Nice work. Excellent. I'm glad to hear my hard work paid off. Hey, what do you think of sharing these things? I'll bring a whole bunch back to Australia. They'll be a hit. Hmm. Maybe I should. You know, I finally realized something after fixing these donuts for you all. Cooking has the power to make people smile, and I want to spread that satisfaction far and wide. You got yourself a deal. There's no final delicacy than the joy in your heart that comes for the good meal. That's what being a connoisseur is truly about. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I'll teach you a recipe for these donuts. It's the least I could do to repay you for all your help. Thanks. Thanks, Granadino. Let me ask you one more thing before you go. How did my donuts actually taste? How did they taste? Well... Absolutely... Exquisite! With that, my... Cooking quest has finally come to an end. Ooh, I got a new recipe. Okay, it's time to go back to Cole and Doc, so let's go. Okay, we bought some donuts to you. <laughs> Alfred, you're back! Hey. Yeah, and I bought some food with me. Help yourselves. Hmm? What is this? Some kind of treat? Yes. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh. Whoa, this is fantastic! This is so yummy! Where'd you get these? A friend of ours had been making them over Camille ca Castle using the ingredients from around here. What? Really? You could make food this tasty here in Kargria? The merchant from Syria liked them too. I think a trade between our realm is going to pick up thanks to these. Yeah! Yeah, we could sell food this good anywhere. This is great! It's so cool to know we can make stuff like these here. Yes. Hmm. Guess I'll stop complaining so much now. Yeah. I'm gonna see what other amazing stuff I could make here in Kaglia too. <laughs> the way I could pay you back for that bread you gave me before, miss. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see what you make. Ooh, and I got a new uniform. Nice. Oh, and I'll cussing. You've collected an awful lot of those objects. You sure it's not just ju Hush. Be quiet for a moment. The pieces speak to me. Uh, what? what are you talking about? These relics that have scattered about. I can hear them whispering, longing to reunite with their lost friends and become one again. Really? Do you hear any voices coming from them, Rinwell? What? No! Don't get me wrong, I'm really interested in these things too, but I'm not crazy. But don't you sometimes mutter stuff like, Come to me, astral energy, when you cast your arts? <sighs> you... you're right. Oh my gosh, are Dohalim and I actually alike? Maybe. This charm really shines through now that it's been reassembled. Its streamlined shape, its geometric patterns. This is no mere amateur's work. 
He's in his own little world at this point. You get just like him when it comes to weapons, you know. Uh, you're right. Oh my gosh. Am I just like Dohalim? <laughs> huh? Why are you guys so quiet all of a sudden? We avoided getting roasted in that ring. But what we could really use is something to cap this off. Sure. Got any ideas on what would be good? Mabo curry. Fried bread stuffed with curry. You'd probably buy out the whole stock. Hey, Law. Been training? Yeah, I guess I got a little carried away. You think this is bad, you should see the state of my underwear. Ugh, do you have to say yeah. out loud? A word of advice. You might want to refrain from mentioning that stuff around girls. Ones without a military history, especially. Man, can you imagine Rinwell's face? She'd have a nervous breakdown. I meant in general, but... You sure mention her a lot, you know. Huh? Oh, I, uh, I... You know, she's always there, even when you least expect it. Springs to mind easily. Either that, or maybe some part of you is subconsciously always wishing she was there. May the oh, maybe because he's in love with his window. Romance? Like I'd be interested in that know-it-all tomboy. I'm more about mature women. Someone more like Kisara. <laughs> you know, I used to be a tomboy too when I was Rinwell's age. Look, it's not tomboys I have anything against. But come on, you've got to admit she can be a lot to handle. Hey, I miss anything? What's all the fuss about? Uh, Rinwell. Hmm. Thunderblade! <laughs> what the hell was that for? A little birdie told me you were speaking about me behind my back. Whew. Uh, from the looks of it. I'd say you've got yourself a rival. It wouldn't be called the Spring of Youth without a little storm every now and then. Oh, this is not a... Hey, Xion. How are you and Alfin getting on these days? That's a little out of the blue. Why do you ask? Sorry. It's just... I don't know. I'm just curious, I guess. I mean... A lot's changed now he's got his senses back and all. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Well, to tell you the truth, if he'd been the way he is now back when I'd first met him, I probably wouldn't have gotten this involved. But then, if we hadn't met like we did, then I never would have experienced these feelings, so... <sighs> I guess... it's complicated. I can imagine. I know it's not the same thing, but I know what it feels like to have someone you love who's out of reach. Because of Nagal. Alfin's still alive. It's not too late, you know. And after all, who can say what the future holds? I think if I were you, I'd take things as they come for now. Besides, touch isn't everything. I've never touched you, Xion. But that doesn't stop you from knowing that I care about you, right? That's true. But I do remember back when we first met, you made it plenty clear you weren't my biggest fan. B but that was a long time ago. There were lots of things I didn't understand back then. Uh, not that that's the point. Don't worry, I'm only teasing. I know what you mean. Thank you. And you're right. There are ways to convey your feelings besides just touching. I'll say, cooking immediately springs to mind. And if it's someone's favorite dish, all the better. If there's something on your mind that you want to tell him, why not try appealing directly to his stomach? Meh, <laughs> good you one. Just have a point. I'll give it a shot. Uh-oh. If it's Alpin's palate you're appealing to, that doesn't bode well for the rest of us. Well, well, friendship is about being supportive. Sometimes we just have to do our best and take one for the team, right? A not cussing. Even after staying here, we never truly got to the bottom of what makes this realm's citizens tick. Renan and Danon are meaningless distinctions here. To have one's own mind is strictly forbidden. All that matters is blind obedience. That might be the case now, but it can't always have been like that. There must have been something more. Once, maybe. Question is, is that something still salvageable? If it's not, we'll just have to make something new. 
No, not we. They've had enough foisted on them as it is. You're right. It's time the people here had the chance to forge their own path. That's not to say it'll be easy, but it will be worthwhile. These things take time to... Whoa, what's going on? An ambush? S sorry Sorry. There was a huge flying bug and I sort of shot without thinking. A bug? Do you mean like a zoogle? Something tells me she would have shot it, whether it was a zoogle or not. This realm is teeming with humid forests. It's only natural insects would feel more at home here than Menencia. In fact, I seem to recall reading somewhere that bugs around these parts lay their eggs in human food to ensure healthy incubation. <laughs> sounds Whoa, like that sounds gross. What about you, Alfin? Bugs don't creep you out? I wouldn't say I was their number one fan. Mind you, if times get desperate enough, I've been known to eat them. Insects as a culinary option, you say? What kind of seasoning are we talking? Dohalim, I don't think he was talking about cooking them. Hey, a lizard! Okay, that was someone else with a side mission. My lord, you receive a notice from Nitor. It says that the wedding is to be held at Sukho Temple. Mm. Excellent. Thank you for letting me know. At last, it seems that the wedding is upon us. I can't ill think of happier occasion than this. Right. Yeah, I'm excited for them. So all I have to do is go attend the wedding then. Sax Leo Temple. Isn't that where Shion was being held? Shh. Wasn't it beautiful? I can't wait for this. <sighs> I never thought about this until now, Alfin. But doesn't it get hot wearing that armor all the time? You feel heat and cold again, don't you? Admittedly, yeah. It can get pretty toasty in this thing. Is it hard when your back starts to itch? Oh, you bet. Plus, my shoulders get stiff wearing it, even if it's not all that heavy. Kisara looks like she manages all right with her armor. Armor takes a strong body and a stout heart. Spoken like a true guardsman. Not that I really get what you mean. Meh. <laughs> The more I think about it, the more I realize what a pain it must be. Like, what do you do when you need to take a leak? Ew! Ew, you have to see out loud? Pain, yeah. More things to take off. That sucks, man. Wouldn't it be easier if you just walked around outside of your armor most of the time instead? You never know when the enemy might attack. As tempting as it might be to take it off, it's not worth getting killed over. So basically, you're screwed if you ever get attacked while taking a dump. Right, Runwell? Are you doing this on purpose? Well, before I go do anything else, I'm gonna go stop and take a break. So, until next time, this is Anime Game Otaku 95. Bye!